Okay, now, this is the way it looks. Obviously, I'm on, you know, uh, the camera's uh, built-in microphone. So this is what we got. You can see, pretty good shock absorbency. And uh, it's aligned pretty well. This is the uh, ring that goes over the top. Now we need to figure out exactly how much of this needs to go on that. Of course, I'm going to have this on there. The uh, foam windscreen, and um, I don't know if you can tell. Let me get in there a little bit. But the switch here goes right up to the rubber bands, and so does this uh, foam windscreen. If you can see that. So. That's as far as you can stick that. Um, of course, you could go a little further, put the switch on this side, but why would you want to do that? Okay. So we got that situated. Um, now I'm probably going to move these rubber bands a little bit so that this is sitting a little bit higher. Take this, figure out, okay, about that much. Um, try the other end. So that one might, oh, darn. I don't know if you can see this. This is an older one I had. Um, it looks like it'll be just enough. So I'm going to cut around. Just basically size this down. I'm going to slip this over here. Make sure. Make sure it's the right length and everything looks good of course this would be upside down like that and that's pretty much what you want so I'm going to take this back apart actually I don't need to do that I can just pull that off and I'm going to attach this. I'm gone ahead and done that. And uh, this is what that looks like. As you can see. Now the great thing about this is you can actually um, make another one of these. And make it longer. You can make it shorter. For whatever, however long your your shotgun mic is or whatever mic you're using and I've also gone ahead and done the other end like that of course left a hole on this side to get the cord through, of course you don't need to scrunch it down as long as it gets somewhat of a dome shape, you're more than fine. Same with this end. Of course I left a bit of an opening here intentionally anyway, uh, just so that um, uh, this would leave this completely open so that um, uh, the sound would go straight in and not be blocked by, by all of this. Or any of this other stuff. 
So that's that. Actually, what I've changed my mind. Instead of putting more of this stuff over over this, I've, I've gone ahead and used all these uh, these notches to my advantage. Uh, well, another advantage, and actually put rubber bands between them on the outside. And uh, now what this does is it uh, keeps uh, well, it acts somewhat the same as with the mesh would, but also it leaves room for you to stick your finger in there to use uh, to be able to, you know, shut, um, you know, turn uh, uh, your mic on or off. And uh, of course, the more rubber bands you use, um, the harder it is to push in. So I might, I think I might just add a few more. And there you have it. Now there's enough room in here where there's enough room in here where if you wanted to, you could put another smaller wind sock over this foam windscreen and really high wind conditions. Of course remember the more you cover this the less sound that's going to get through and usually it's your high end that's going to get dampened the most but holds together you put a put some fur on there you're ready to go. The thing about this is yeah it's got a nice handle it's uh, you know multi position multi angle it's all pretty nice and not only that this is threaded on the inside for uh, a painter's pole you can get a 16 16 foot extension pole also you could get like a short piece and just mount that in a block of wood or something and then you could use that you know as a stand pretty slick I also have a broom handle here that uh, also screws into the bottom of this now the thing about that is why why would you want to stick something else up here where you would need an adapter or you would have to adapt the pole to screw into the bottom of it. Doesn't make sense to me, but this is awesome. I love it.